In this video, we'll see one more way of managing session and that is URL rewriting. <coughs> so how to use URL rewriting? So let me remove cookies this time and this one also. So see what we need. Okay, let me remove cookies from this side also. See what was own or the whole purpose is when I call this page which is uh, uh, input input text where well, I will enter my name it will call first servlet I'm getting t1 here right so I'm getting str I'm getting my name in str and then I'm calling second servlet and what was our requirement I want to send this str to second servlet right that was the whole purpose so what we'll do is we'll say string str equal to request okay it's request dot get parameter and we'll say the value will be coming from t1 but hold on we don't have t1 here right but still let's try to run this let's see what happens if I run this file since I'm working with get request if I enter my name here which is Navin if I say ok so you can see I'm getting an address bar here and it's saying welcome null it's because whenever you work with this value here request dot get parameter if it is a get request it will fetch this value from the address bar and unfortunately in our address bar we don't have any t1 so what we can do is if what if what happens if I say question mark there so, uh, second sublet question mark t1 equal to Navin and if I say enter so you can see we are getting a value which is welcome Navin cool so when you say get parameter from t1 it will fetch that data from address bar so what I can do is while calling second servlet, while calling second servlet from the first servlet, what if if I just send that value here itself? Something in this way. So I will say second servlet question mark t1 equal to plus str. So when you send a request now, okay, let me run this. So if I send a request now, so you can see that t1 equal to Navin is sent, we, we are able to send here and we are saying welcome Navin cool so it's working right then if this is so flexible why to use session and cookies is because when you talk about only sending a string when you have a get method then it will work what happens if you have a post request so it will not work second problem is let's say if you are if you want to send lots of data data which we want to make it secure in that scenario you cannot use your writing we have to use session or we have to use cookies right so we have seen three ways of handling session we have uh, url rewriting then we have uh, session http session we have cookies there's one more way called as hidden form fields which is we don't we don't normally use it but we can also go for hidden form fields basically the the top three is session cookies and url rewriting Okay, so that's it from this session. In the next session, we'll talk about some advanced topics. So thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos.